Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois uh, Banks uh, Ministry. And I just wanted to make sure that I uh, share uh, <clears throat> my nursing um, credentials along with my um, education with my uh, viewers. Um, I am a licensed nurse. I've been a licensed nurse since uh, 1994. Um, I also earned um, a pharmacology uh, license, and uh, I earned two degrees. I earned a Bachelor of Science degree and a Master uh, degree. So um, I'm very trained. <clears throat> I'm very qualified to teach on nutrition and share uh, statistics with you and research with you. Um, I had to do a lot of research study um, in my nursing training and in my degree uh, training. I am trained uh, to do a lot of research. That's how I ended up with uh, health products because of my uh, extensive uh, research uh, training. Uh, many of you know that um, I uh, flew around the world internationally, being trained and in interviewing famous um, oncologists, natural healers, and doctors. And I received a lot of training um, uh, with God's uh, natural health through God's natural leaders that were and are doctors. Um, I was trained underneath uh, Dr. Uh, Day, uh, who came to my church many years ago. She taught the whole entire church how to reverse every sickness and disease with a fork underneath God's natural laws. Um, God also made me renew my nursing license in uh, natural health. And um, God sent me to so many nutritional classes and nutritional training. I'm telling you, God sent me to uh, the body of Christ first to teach all of this knowledge and information to the body of Christ because the body of Christ was so unbalanced when it came to walking in God's word for healing. And then God sent me uh, to the world. Um, within a 26 year span of my nursing career, God has been sending sick people to me with so many different uh, diseases. And because of my extensive training um, in healing, underneath God's natural laws and his power, um, I just obey the spirit of God. You know, God created our body. So when God tells me somebody's missing a certain nutrient or that somebody needs to clean out from mucoid plaque or parasites or somebody needs to remove heavy metals or somebody needs to remove liver stones, kidney stones, gallbladder stones, I just, I'm just a willing um, vessel and I just obey God. I, I'm not the healer. God is the healer. I'm just a, a willing vessel who's been trained um, as a licensed nurse who has a lot of experience on the floor working with patient care, who, uh, studies the word of God in the area of nutrition, who's been trained by uh, medical doctors. I've been trained by medical doctors and natural healers uh, how to bring wholeness and restore wholeness uh, to the body. But the greatest teacher of all has been God and his word. God has clear instructions in his Bible. And God tells us clearly how we are supposed to align ourselves up uh, to his word 
and follow the examples that are written out uh, in the Bible. God is very clear. And because I have a scientific mind, um, I put the word of God to the test. I wanted to see what happens to the body when you just eat foods from a seed that are organic. And to my pleasant surprise, I discovered that all forms of sicknesses and diseases reversed itself and came out of the body. I like to test God's word. I want to see how true it is. And out of my curiosity and the way that my mind thinks, I have a, a very scientific mind um, all through school. I love biology. I love chemistry. I love nutrition classes. Y'all, I had nutrition classes in junior high school, believe it or not. Yes, I did. And I was fascinated with that. I gravitated towards that. Um, I love dissecting frogs and I just love that whole biology and science stuff. I love chemistry. Man, y'all used to have my test tubes out and just following uh, formulas and uh, creating a hypothesis. And I just love that stuff. That's just how God wired my mind. But I've also been trained um, to flow in the power of God, you know, with my pastor. Um, there was another pastor who taught me how to cast out demons by name because I was helping his ministry. I've been trained on the power of God's word by my pastor and how to do everything according to the word of God even when it comes to the area of nutrition. You can't get off of the word of God and think that you're going to have a manifestation of healing according to the promises of God. You, everything has to be in alignment with God. And we can't do anything the way the world does it. You know, God's way is completely different from the world's way. So I just wanted to make sure uh, that I shared my credentials with you, my training with you. I've shared it in bits and pieces, but I don't think I've ever shared everything with you. And even when I went to, you know, I, I enrolled in my undergraduate degree, in my graduate degree program, God wanted me to a minor in communication where I took um you know speech classes communication classes um i took i uh took classes where it trained me how to uh create movies because i knew that god wanted me to create movies for him i mean god has been guiding my career and every class um that i've taken uh thus far you already know that i'm enrolled in a PhD program and uh, holistic medicine and nutrition. Um, God is faithful and he's good and he knows uh, how to navigate us. And I want to let you know that the information that I have, uh, some of it, some of the training that I've learned came out of my nursing class, but as a whole, uh, nursing school doesn't line up to the word of God. I mean, we are taught anatomy and physiology and signs and symptoms of sicknesses and diseases, signs and symptoms of, uh, adverse side effects to medication um but it doesn't produce complete healing and wholeness it gives like a basic guideline of how to um work as a nurse with your license in the state that you passed your state boards in so that you don't 
kill anybody. You don't take anybody out by not following uh, procedures and uh, protocols. You know, because we give medications, you know, we give shots. We 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 have to make sure we're not killing anybody. You, you understand what I'm saying? So it gives a basic foundation as far as how the body functions, how drugs interact in the body, side effects, all this kind of stuff. But what I have learned according to the word of God as far as how to reverse sicknesses and disease, how to manifest healing. I didn't really learn that in nursing school. I learned that from the word of God and from what God uh, taught me. What God did is he sent me to nursing school, told me to go to nursing school so I can get the basics of how the body functions. So I will know my anatomy and my physiology and uh, I, I will know signs and symptoms of, you know, certain disorders. I could look at somebody's ankle and know that they're in heart failure. You know, nursing school prepared me to recognize uh, signs and symptoms and and stuff like that it didn't prepare me to heal except for one area it did i had to follow an area um where i monitored someone's nutritional intake for a full week and then after i monitored um the nutritional intake of that person for a week i had to uh, critique it, give it to my nursing instructor. I had to create a care plan to help the person reverse sickness and disease in their body. Now that area of nursing, my nursing training was so valuable and so worth me uh, going to nursing school because that area of nursing birth a healing ministry uh, inside of me. I'm so glad that I obey God because I can look at how people eat every day from my training and I can tell what sicknesses and diseases will manifest in that person just by looking at how they eat every day. I don't know exactly what sicknesses and diseases will manifest inside the body. So that area of nursing that I received training in was so valuable and such a blessing uh, to me that God, uh, after I graduated from nursing school, he continued my education in the area of natural health. And that is the direction that God sent me. I had to go the direction he told me to go in. Because the direction that God was telling me to go in, that was going to be the truth. That was going to be the, 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 the deliverance that people needed. That was going to be lined up to his holy word. And so I just followed the path. I, I went to all of these nutritional training uh, classes where people uh, gathered together, taught on nutrition, the importance of proper nutrition, and how when you eat right, eat natural, eat foods that come from a seed, organic and clean, how sicknesses and diseases will just automatically reverse itself and come out of the body. I mean, I remember going to a nutritional training class with Reverend George Malcolmus from the Hallelujah Acres. He came to Michigan. God led me to go to the nutritional training. This man was, this man of God was diagnosed with um, a tumor the size of a baseball in his colon. Uh, God told him to stop eating like the world tells you to eat. He, because his uh, body was compromised with that tumor, uh, God had him take 
uh, and eat and create uh, juices from carrots, celeries, and apples, all organic. And he began to drink those uh, juices and those foods came from a seed. And the tumor just began to shrink, began to shrink. He added barley grain inside of the uh, carrots, apple, and celery juice. And you know, barley, anything green is a blood cleanser. So he was drinking that every day. The tumor shrunk, came straight out of his colon in his bowel movement. And he's been walking and healing um, ever since. So he made sure he started to line up to God's way of eating. You know, once you uh, learn how to uh, help your body walk in the word of the living God for healing, then you'll have more tools and your body will be healthy enough to like digest food where you can chew it again and, and all of that. So I wanted to make sure that I stopped by and, and share my, uh, my training. I mean, my training has been very, very, uh, extensive and I had to follow the path that God uh, placed me on, which was a different path from most people. Y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, when I'm talking to medical doctors and registered nurses, they don't even know what I'm talking about because they're not trained. They're not trained in... Uh, God's word. They're not trained in natural health. And so I had to take a path that took me um, on a path of deliverance and that would teach people um, how to line up to the word um, of the living God. So I actually teach registered nurses and medical doctors how to heal people. Yes, that's what I do. And um, I wanted to make sure that I shared that with you because they're not trained. They're not trained in God's word. They don't know. They have a different type of training, which is useful if, if you're ever in a state of emergency and you need emergency um, attention. My ministry and my nursing experience trains people how not to ever get sick and how to reverse uh, sicknesses and diseases and uh, how to stay out of emergency situations. So I believe that um, we need all of those uh, health modules working uh, together. I often tell people, you know, have a medical doctor, have a naturopathic or osteopathic doctor, uh, and, and have a nurse that's trained in the world's way of thinking, and then have a nurse that's trained in God's way of thinking. You need all of it together. Uh, to help you, especially when you're in emergency uh, situations. So uh, I've been trained in both realms. So I'm trained in emergency situations. I'm also trained in God's uh, natural laws um, of healing. And I'll give you some examples for emergency situations that I've been in since I've been a nurse, a licensed nurse. Um, I remember uh, working with a nurse who was lazy. She didn't do a good job with looking out for her patients. And she gave uh, a patient diabetic medication, insulin, according to the doctor's order and she didn't go back and see how much food the patient ate 
So in other words, she gave the medication, which lowered the blood sugar. Uh, the patient was supposed to eat their dinner, but then the nurse didn't go back to see how much dinner the patient ate. Okay, and you nurses have to. We got to go back and monitor all of our diabetic patients to see how much food they ate because if they didn't eat very much, that means they're going to really drop really low and their blood sugar is going to drop low and they could die. They can go into a coma and die. So I'm at the nurse's station and I hear the nurse's aide screaming my name. They're asking me to come into a room of a patient that's not my patient, but I was at the nurse's station. So of course they're going to scream for me. I go tearing around the nurse's station. I go into the patient's room. I automatically see that the patient is, uh, has a uh, low blood sugar. She's getting ready to go into a coma. I leaped on top of the bed. Okay. I begin to talk to the patient. I'm jump. I'm on top of the bed. I'm giving orders and instructions for the nurses. A I said, go somebody, go give me some sugar really quick right now. Give me some sugar. So they tore into the dining room, bought the sugar to me. I opened up the packet. I'm pouring the the sugar down underneath the patient's uh, tongue. So the sugar is absorbing uh, in the patient's tongue. Okay. The patient is starting to come around, but not quite around. I told one of the, the nurse's aides, I said, you come over here to switch places with me and continue to give that sugar underneath the tongue. I'll be right back. I got to go into the backup lock unit, grab a syringe that I can inject into the patient to pull her blood sugar up quickly. So that's what they did. I jumped off the bed. We switched places. I made sure the patient was still getting that sugar underneath the, their, their, uh, their tongue. I tore out the room, went into the backup lock unit with my keys, heard that pull out a, a, a syringe, put the solution in it, came back into the room, hurried up and inject the, uh, the solution, the medication inside of the patient patient's eyes popped open and was awake y'all i done been through some stuff as a nurse i didn't seen some stuff y'all hear me the patient is a lot the first thing i asked the nurse when she finally found out what was going on i was like do you know how much your patient ate she said no it's no i just gave the medication according to the doctor's order i didn't go back and check how much food she ate you have to check anytime a nurse gives medication to a diabetic patient right around the time of a meal, we got to go back and monitor how much intake they have because if they didn't eat all of their meals, they're going to be in trouble. Their blood sugar is going to drop too low and they could die. So that is a situation that I, you know, I found myself having to deal with. There was another situation where, uh, I was working with a patient. She just started spitting up blood. Blood was coming out of everywhere. Her nose, her mouth. I mean, she was sitting in her wheelchair just spitting up blood and coughing up blood. And, and it wouldn't stop. It was just pouring um, out of her body. The nurses, the nursing assistants who were around me, they were in shock. They were in shock. They didn't even know what to do. I'm over there calming the patient down, letting her know she's going to be okay. She's not going to die. I had to stomp my foot to make my nurse's assistants listen to me. They weren't, they weren't listening to me. They were in shock of what they were seeing. I said, go on the intercom, call Margie, who was my supervisor. I said, tell her to get down here and help me send this patient out to the hospital. I, I had to stomp. I had to stomp my foot because they were in shock. The patient lived. The patient didn't die. We got that patient out, okay? There was a, 
another situation um where oh my god y'all this so much has gone on in my nursing career where i have taken care of people and it had and it was life um um or death uh uh situations i remember uh there was a situation where one of the nursing assistants was walking with um a patient back to the room the patient sometimes they just they get weak or something's going on in their body and the patient just collapsed to the ground so they called me over the inner head and i come running around the corner um and the first thing we have to do as nurses we have to look to make sure there's no fractures just like nothing going on and uh i said don't move him let him stay right where he is he's in trouble you know because a lot of times when the elderly fall they usually fracture something and so but we have to assess to see if they fractured anything and then you know we got the patient out and they got the help that they need uh there was another time i was working a midnight shift and I was on a unit on the other side uh, of the building. And um, somebody called my name over the internet. And they said, Lois Banks stat unit. And they told me exactly uh, where to go. Y'all, I, I, I heard it. I took off around the corner made a couple of turns, made it to a nurse's station where the nurse had passed out. There was a nurse who had passed out. All of the nurses' assistants, again, they were in shock. They were just watching their nurse passed out. I, I had to stomp my foot on the ground to get everybody to snap out of that. I said, hey, you go and give me the pulse X. You go and get me a oxygen tank i said i need to see what's going on with her oxygen levels um she was breathing shallow but she was passed out so i needed to find out what was going on so um i i uh checked her finger with the pulse ox, ox pulse ox and uh her her oxygen levels were under 90 she was like 70 something so i knew that she was in respiratory distress and so i hurried up put a nasal cannula over her we got the oxygen flowing inside of her uh called the ems and uh they took her straight next door um to the hospital where she she survived I've been in many uh, situations working with uh, step-down units, uh, nursing home environments, private duty, uh, hospitals, um, all kinds of situations. Um, I was even trained on how to deliver babies. So, you know, if I'm ever in a situation where a woman uh, was getting ready to give birth and she can't make it to the hospital, I was trained in my nursing uh, school how to deliver babies. So, this is just a few of the highlights of me being trained in emergency situations and in the the knowledge that god has given to me to keep the body uh healthy and whole and to prevent emergency situations so i i was trained on both sides of healing and so i just wanted to come and share my uh nursing nursing career with you um share my uh experience with you and my continued education uh in the area that god uh directed me to to bring uh healing to the world now i do want to say to you uh that you're going to have to be careful going into 
stores, uh, you know, anywhere where there's people during this pandemic. And I shared this in a video last week where, um, you know, I'm used to going into a hostile spiritual environment with sickness and diseases. Anytime there's sicknesses and diseases, Satan is somewhere around that. Do you understand what I'm saying? The spirit of infirmity, the spirit of sicknesses and disease is right next to that situation. So when I walk into an environment where there's a lot of sicknesses and diseases, which has been my whole career um, as a nurse, I've had to deal with taking authority and dominion over demonic forces because the atmosphere spiritually is demonic. And so I had to learn really quick on how to take authority and dominion. I had to learn how to rebuke sickness and diseases from attaching itself to me because I went into that dark territory spiritually I had to rebuke it from attaching to me. I made sure that before I got into my car, I rebuked sickness and disease from off of me. Don't follow me home. I, before I walked into my house, I had to like take off all of my nursing uniforms and everything and my shoes, put it in a bag as soon as I got inside the house, immediately go downstairs and uh, disinfect my clothes and my shoes. Because you don't want to bring anything into the house that will hurt your family. And I had to make sure before I stepped into my house, I rebuked any form of sickness and disease from my work environment. I said, you are not allowed to get go into my house in Jesus' name. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord. And that's what how God trained me to move in and out around hostile uh areas of sicknesses and disease and because the plague is peaking um i went to whole foods uh yesterday to pick up a few things usually when the plague is peaking i'll just have my food delivered but here recently everybody's thinking the same way they're having their food delivered so I'm not being, I can't get my food delivered when i want to get it delivered they're talking about the next day and all this kind of stuff and so, you know, I've had to put, like, cotton balls in my ears. I'm going to make sure I show that to you. You need to have cotton balls in your ears. You can pull it apart and put some cotton balls in each ear because um, sicknesses and diseases, like, they look for uh, openings in the body to get in. And so, because the plague is airborne, you have to be mindful um, of that. And um, I had my N95 uh, mask on. And when I, when I walked into Whole Foods and then I finished shopping and I walked out, I could feel, because I have years of experience of feeling sicknesses and diseases, I felt sicknesses and diseases inside of uh, Whole Foods. I felt it. So you're going to have to know what you're doing when you um, are traveling into areas where there's sicknesses and diseases. You have to take authority and dominion over that. Rebuke it off of your clothes, off of your coat, off of your shoes, off of your, your person before you get back in your car and rebuke it again before you get in the house you rebuke all forms of sicknesses and diseases so it doesn't attach itself to you okay so i felt led to come and share that with you because y'all know y'all not getting this teaching in church y'all know that and so I, i'm telling you as um a licensed nurse for over 26 years dealing with hostile environments of sickness and diseases, how that demonic force and those demonic spirits function and operate so that you'll know what to do. So this is Lois Banks coming to you uh, from the Lois Banks Ministry. 
uh, the Father God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Ghost loves you. I love you and Jesus is Lord.